Hi everyone, James here. Back with another look inside the box review. This time it's the extra kit. A 170 second scale Glossy Meteor F Mark 8. Uh, this kit was manufactured by MPM Products for Hanans. So on the front is a nice side profile of the Meteor. And on the side is just what contains in the box and then paint and glue is not included to get that separate the address and then again the name of the aircraft and the box art picture Get the kit itself, instructions, canopy, two options, and decal sheet. Start off with the uh, plastic. As I lose, I'm going to start off with the, the fuselage, halved, and the wings. The Panel lines are crisp, they are recessed as well. No signs of flash. There is um cockpit interior details lacking there, but I think there is um separate parts to add in there. It's close up the detail, it's quite nice. Just the fusion on halves, and then the wings. Again there is some Flash evident, but that will clean up quite nicely. Show the detail again. It's the top half and the lower half again. Nice, crisp, clean detail. Moving on to one of the sprue sheets, you get control surfaces, parts of the cockpit, there's some side walling detail, cockpit floor, the second sheet is more External fuel tanks, landing gear, some more cockpit parts. And then the last sprue has the engine firewalls, the wheels, landing gear, the um, armament or external fuel tank pylons, some engine detail here for inside the engines wheel well detail Moving on to the canopy, there's two options with landing lights and then the uh, the weapon sight as well. There is a, a slight crack here, split, and some imperfections around this bit. Other than that, it is it's quite clear on both.
That's the canopies. Moving on to the decals. They're in good register. Quite thin. Colours are good. the decals and lastly the instructions on the front there is the cyber profile of the meteor and then half of one side uh, just a brief history and then some technical data down the bottom and then open up you have the kit parts diagram here. Some assembly symbol options here at the bottom. Moving over to the assembly as usual. There you start with the cockpit and steps one same. Uh, the well suggesting to use extra colour paints step two is assembling the seats step three is then building up the cockpit and then step four adding the cockpit to the fuselage half and sitting two halves together to the page steps five and six is adding more cockpit interior parts it's telling you to Insert three grams of weight there, otherwise it will be a tail sitter. It's the uh, side view of how to position correctly the landing gear. Steps seven and eight and nine is the assembly of the landing gear. And then it's telling you to seal the two halves together after you've added the, the front landing gear doors. Moving over 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15 is adding the wheel wells to the lower half of the wings and then the engine firewalls assembling the control surfaces here for the rear moving over 16 17, 18 and 19 is adding the the rear control surfaces to the rear Adding the landing gear to the wheel wells and then placing the wheel wells to the lower half of the wings. 20, 21 and 22 is adding the external fuel tanks. But there is an option here. You can either add the middle and leave the two ends off or add the two end ones for the wings and leave the, the middle one off 23 is adding the cockpit canopy as well as the weapon sight 
the aerial mast and it's telling you to scratch build another aerial here and then that's it that's 23 build steps and then the, the three camouflage and marking options first is Lost on me to your station at Filton in February 1957. It's nice grey and green camouflage on top and a silver for the bottom. And then the next option is an all round silver one. This is early 1950s. And the last option again is an all round silver. This one's stationed at Biggin Hill in the early 1950s. So that is the extra kit on 70 second scale Gloucester Meteor F Mark 8. Thanks for watching.